Hello everyone and welcome back to another A Masi Chess Game by Alexander Alehin against his opponent Nikolai Zuborev, uh, who was the chess champion of Moscow. So Nikolai Zuborev was not, uh, you know, an amateur chess player. But Alehin simply destroyed his opponent in this chess game and this is a Masi Chess Game, one of the Masi Chess Games of Alexander Alehin from 1915. Let's see what happened in this chess game. Alexander Alehin starts the game with pushing to the pawn d4, knight to f6, c4, and developing the pieces. And what is this? Bishop to b4. This is the Nimzo Indian defense. Queen to c2, b6, e4, developing the bishops and capturing the knight and damaging the pawn structure. If capturing back with the queen, perhaps knight takes or bishop takes on e4 so d6 developing the knights and both players castled so you can see that black also has it seems like black has a good position so uh, nikolai zubarev damaged the pawn structure of alexander alehin but alehin is pushing the f-pawn charging h6 knight to g3 queen to e7 queen to e2 rook over and bishop to a3 lining the bishop with the queen and c5 rook over king over and then d5 by alexander alehin knight goes back and then pushing the pawn charging at the center g6 maybe in this position alehin could play it queen to e4 and then checkmating the king so black is playing a prophylactic move defending a defending before queen to e4 and then queen to d2 by alexander alehin e takes on d5 c takes on d5 and black didn't capture the pawn with the bishop we have d takes on e5 perhaps if bishop takes pawn then pawn takes uh, is looking very dangerous because if queen takes then maybe bishop to c4 and the bishop is pinned so you can see that there are some threats d takes on e5 and alehin played c4 king to h7 bishop to b2 of course the e pawn is pinned knight from g to f6 and alehin captured the pawn and then knight to g4 and black is attacking the e pawn you can see that black is attacking the pawn for four times and alehin is defending for two times alehin pushed the pawn so if capturing the pawn rook takes pawn seems like very dangerous or even maybe pawn takes pawn so we have queen to h4 by nikolai zubarev he sees the opportunity and now he is attacking on h2 checkmate if capturing the pawn checkmate did alexander alehin made a blunder because it looks like there is no good defense in this position if you push to h pawn for the defense then queen takes knight and so if you push the h pawn to h3 queen takes knight seems like a uh, losing for white what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces can you guess the next move for alexander alehin he played an incredible move and after that move black is in trouble well of course uh, i think this is a little silly question because in this position you either have to defend the checkmate threat or you need to have a check so alexander alehin is going after his king after his opponent's king rook takes on f7 this is the move and we have rook takes on f7 and again threatening checkmate on h2 what was the idea of alexander alehin so in this position i also want to show you what happens if moving the king this is the only move so look at the bishops of alexander alehin he understood the value of the bishop here very well. So in this position, uh, can you see why this is actually losing? Because of rook to g7 check, king over, and then rook takes on g6. And this is a discovered check to the king. King goes down, uh, which is the only defense. And then rook takes on g4. This is check, also attacking the queen. And if defending, this is not capturing the queen actually this is getting checkmated for black there is no sensible defense incredible 
So this is why king to h8 is not a good move because of rook takes on g6 and if blocking with the knight then rook takes on g4 again only queen takes rook is possible uh, because the knight is pinned then check and then capturing the knight and this is very good for white and actually defending is not so easy in this position so okay so these are some of the possible continuations if moving the king this is why rook takes on f7 and can you see the next move for alexander alehin what would you do in this position again if you had the white pieces alexander alehin captured on g6 bishop takes on g6 what a move and black captured the bishop, king takes on g6. Let's check out what happens if king goes uh, to the north. Well, only a, even a beginner level chess player can figure this out. Then capturing, check, only move, and then capturing the rook. With promoting the queen, and this is getting checkmated. And there is no sensible defense. So this is why king takes on g6, and then dragging the king down. And now can you see the move for white? I'll let him play the move and black resigned the move is bishop to c1 and black resigned because of this continuation if blocking with the knight check check and check and so on so this is losing for black and black is getting for checkmated actually if he moves the king so uh, this is why Blocking with the knight is not working. And if blocking with the rook, can you see the move for white? Then queen to f5. Check, mate. And there is no defense. What a game, what a game by Alexander Alehin. Just when black thought that he had Alehin on the ropes, just when he thought he was going to checkmate Alexander Alehin, Alehin unleashed an incredible attack. And actually, it looks like black is losing by force. Alehin was not missing anything. So, okay, thank you very much for watching. Actually, in the real game, after uh, checking the king with the bishop, bishop to c1, black resigned. So, this is the final position. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time with more interactive and beautiful chess games. So, take care. Stay safe and bye-bye.